All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do the review of this watches. All these watches that you see right there, these are all Japanese, Chinese, Chinese, Japanese made watches. Um, except this year, these are Chinese and Chinese, I think the belts are, this is actually made in India. Watches. Something I already have done, partially right uh right here when i open this delivery here this is um uh let me see that let's see that Go weekly okay so that was uh part one and so this should be then this should be part one right here is it my mother have stated to me just about... Oh, there you go. That's the watch right there. The first thing I'm going to do is... And what we're going to do is we're going to call this a part number one. We have some hair here also. I'm going to call this part number one. This is the watch right there. Uh, that arrived through the mail. So I did the review of this watch. First of all, what I'm going to be doing... Hell, this is, this is, first of all, according to him, when I... first of all, what I'm going to be doing in this video is, this is a video we're going to title as a part number one, part number one, da da dee 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 this stuff applies to this post here, this is continuation, the Neue Europa. We are all swines in European Union and USA, no longer people. That much in respect to the so-called free mainstream media, which grew literally into the AliExpress deliveries that look inside of my house, just as you see, uh, regardless of whether I pick them up at the local government Slovenian postal office uh, or items arrive at home this is not the way to go uh, just to give you a little refreshment the guy would just uh, threw the packaging and uh, disappeared basically he would just he would he would just he <laughs> he he um oh man this shit is so disturbed they uh, first of all i don't even know where the hell i would start with this stuff this watch has involved since 2008 look at this watches 2008 and this watches already were involved in mk ultra you see them look at them good In 2008, you're going to say, hey, this watch does not exist. Hell yes, they existed. You better believe it, they existed. That means, when you see this here, I already opened them up. That's right. And you're going to see me opening the package. Watches did exist. I am going to turn the light on so that you can see what I'm talking about. These watches did exist in 2008. You better believe it, they did. The one who made these watches in 2008 for the Chinese was a Japanese company that existed and would produce similar to these watches. Some of which I remember psychiatrist Kapsch, he had the watch that was big like this. He had like a watch, uh, whatever the hell that was, it was as big as this, and this is the watch he was using to terrorize me. It was not one, it was like two, three watches like this, like this, and like this thick, and he would go and he would terrorize me that these watches are actually that kind of watch if I like them and so on. Um, enough about it. 
I told you about how I have also demonstrated how I have ordered another watch. This is why this guy stopped right there. This is why individual stopped right there. This is the watch right here. Did you see? And this is the first watch I ordered. And the watch would not be delivered to me. Just accordingly with the MK Ultra scenario. And when this watch is what delivered, in a little bit I'm gonna get to that issue. And I have by coincidence. Uh, coincidence literally i sit inside of the living room area and boy i see the car just vroom, and just vroom, like i could not even when i ran to the toward the door so that i would step on the on a terrace on a balcony i could not i couldn't and then i realized i don't even have a fucking camera with me, so I ran to get the Android to, to video record this shit. Luckily, I did this, and I saw him. He raised here and stopped right there. And uh, according to MK Ultra scenario, this was recorded anyhow on March the 25th, 2024, and today is March the 30th of. 2024 let's take time date let's take time and date in this part number one as i stated this is a part number one and what i'm going to do is before i open the packages which i already have opened i opened the packages already this is a long effing story that sucked my brain out because the camera repeatedly would stop video recording. I don't know. I have plenty, right, so everything inside, memory, out, everything. Uh, right now, uh, How that stuff was done on March 25th, I already video recorded all that stuff. Exposed. So the original video about my opening these items, so there will be no conspiracy theories, is coming as next. What I'm going to do is, this is a part, as I stated, part number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join clips. So this is going to be part number one. I made mistakes when I opened these items because it was a lot of stuff that I stated that actually did not apply. And I'm going to explain to you, they even used pencils to, to draw the shit on the watches and stuff like this. So that would be accordingly with MK Ultra brainwash. It's very, very dangerous stuff here. That's why. And the camera stopped video recording on two occasions. Each time I spent six hours video recording this shit. And it was really frustrating when I realized that after once it was after one hour and 55 minutes. This is what you're going to see in part number two. Um... Stopped recording and the second time, that was the next day when I went on to record like crazy, uh, it stopped a recording after one hour and I think it was 25 minutes. So plenty of frustration here for me. And what you're seeing, uh, practically I'm video, I'm doing this shit practically for the fourth time. I know I did video recorded only twice. For six hours. Yeah, so <clears throat> I will now continue the review of this is this 127. Uh, I must say can and this one here is you're gonna see 155. Alright, so I am gonna do another round uh, right now. Uh, I don't know I'm why the camera stopped video recording. And the third time I had to watch everything over, spend more hours basically to get my shit together and go on and get the job done. That's basically today. Really fast. This dude who delivered me this washes here that you see. He stopped here, turn around the car 
And according to MK Ultra, I was supposed to go and follow this. But I don't say what I would even express myself. According to MK Ultra scenario, what I would do is yeah, what best would be for me to do. He's actually turning around his vehicle. Look at that. That I really video recorded poorly this stuff. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. He would not even. He would not even bother to ring the phone or anything like this. That's all the hair you do. This was to be delivered to the postal office. No, he did not deliver anywhere to the postal office. Again, at my doorsteps. So this is continuation of this stuff. He did this shit. This guy did this kind of stuff. Uh, to literally have me follow him according to MK Ultra scenario to get the watch. Still did not get one. Uh, live the inside of the village. That's what he wanted. He wanted me to go and follow him into the village, literally, uh, where he interacted with the people from the village and literally insisted me during MK Ultra with his relative also. Maybe he wanted me to identify one, I don't know. Uh, to this degree, probably I would say. Uh, demand from me to demand from him to get my watch, which uh, I am really not that crazy that I would go chase him through the village and demand from him to give me my fucking watch. That's what he anticipated. So we have to start, and this is a good start basically. This is a start. He turned around the car, he left the village with idea that I will, according to MK Ultra scenario, go and chase him to the village where I would demand from him wherever he would stop to get this watch, basically. That is practically, not practically, this watch is being stolen from me by delivery company in Slovenia. Yeah, that's most likely is the individual because he was the one who was delivering this type of watch, uh, according to MKL's scenario, to the village. That means he's from one express. Uh, this is the dude, this is the guy who also would deliver this watch. Second thing is, he played with my sanity during MK Ultra. I told you they treated me like a trash, like a baby. And... Now we're going to do it the old-fashioned ways. We're going to type the Google Maps because it doesn't... It's like the only way to get this stuff done now. This is improvement we have. Uh, and it would be like this. Uh, he would harass me and possibly even video recorded. I'm sure video recorded with, with uh, people from the village. It's the neighbors. Uh, then, yeah, he would just at the, at the neighbors, at the village people, where he would, he would they, with the police, they would repeatedly incite me that I have to go and I have to demand watch from him, otherwise I'm not going to get the watch. And he alone insisted, only if you catch me. Uh, then he went on to suggest me that literally here, where the village ends, the road goes through the forest like this. Uh, I uh, would, if I would follow him through the village, I would not get him. And I would not get him because he would cut through the village. He would cut through the village and he would pop up on the other side nicely. Uh, it's called uh, through, through the neighboring village Smolenjavas and he would pop up here at the Slotnik. Uh, here at the Slotnik, however, there is his uh, relative. 
at the Slotnik, there is his relative. And so now uh, he reminded me of how he was driving me around whenever he would make deliveries to the Novo Mesto, something that it started in 2010. I think the guy started this job like in 2009. Uh, police would say 2010, 2011, you know. Um, I think his relative who was with him and would drive me also crazy in our village here demanded from me to uh, chase him, to stalk him in the village and demand my watch. It is like about 185 centimeters tall and dark, dark hair. And this guy, I think it's like light hair. Uh, and I think actually this guy is somewhere from like Trebnia or something. He is not from the city of the Novo Mesto, but I think this guy probably is even from uh, Trebnia, Trebnia locality, something like this. And he works for the One Express. Uh, that's a Austrian postal service in. Slovenia, like a branch they have in Slovenia, it's called One Express. Um, so, we are still at the part number one, where I'm going to make you quickly explanation about the stuff that was used to drive me insane. And I got it completely wrong, and what you're going to see is part number two. Uh, but in part number three, I'm going to remind you basically of what you are watching right now in part number one, and you understand the whole thing basically how it all went uh, as I'm gonna start part number one I will go to what you see here is March the 13th 2024 which was another insane postal delivery of items that were delivered to me and we'll refer to the watch that was delivered to me this is this watch here this is what we're gonna go as first this is one of the most important things is when you're buying the watch is to make sure that time is properly working. Something I did not even bother when I was reviewing the watches, which is kind of crazy. Uh, this is just a syndrome that you will develop when you get, I don't know, 30 watches destroyed, stolen and stuff like this. And you're just happy to have something that at least approximately shows you the time. So it's a it's a sort of traumatic syndrome that did appear in me disregarding many factors that otherwise a uh, normal person would not so this here uh, this stuff I'm gonna say to you I did the reviews about this yes uh, let's make sure that uh, we get this stuff here done no 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 yeah, uh, I did everything also in part number two. Uh, the thing is that from this watch, I did remove the belt because the belt was scratched and not supposed to be on a new watch. And I did put belt from another watch, used watch, watch I have used just like this also was used. Uh, and so I figured out that to protect that belt and use that as a proof, I am going to put another belt that I already have used, and that's it. This is the belt. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here, and we're going to type date and time. We're going to look exactly what the date and time is. Um, and uh, then I'm going to also compare with those watches, which I already reviewed. And then I'm going to explain to you shortly what exactly everything I have done wrong in part number two. Then I'll let you watch part number two. And in part number three, as I stated again, I will remind you everything of part number one. That's the part we're doing right now. Uh, this watch was uh, adjusted on the day I did review because I would wear one since. And so the review of this watch was done on... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. YouTube really shouldn't do the stuff like this, but okay. Um, we're gonna do this March 13, 2024. 
and so you can see that uh, March 13 today is March the 30 that is within the 17 days uh, if we compare the time the watch is how much is it missing about 21 22 seconds uh, let's see this here uh, based on the information I gave you right now I also know that this is exactly the watch that was involved in MK Ultra. yeah you know every little thing a human mind can recall uh, those that work in psychiatry and are playing with MK Ultra issues will simply nothing other than confirm what I whatever I am stating to you right now so this is the time and you can see so what about 23 22 seconds is wrong within just uh, what is it 17 days 17 days yeah so this already was reviewed that's it I'm just giving you an update uh, if you want to view this review you will go here and you will review this stuff here I am closing it down now sometimes it's something still that I need to review and that's exactly what I'm gonna do it like this now let's go back we're gonna go back to this issue here that you see and we're gonna review we will continue to review exactly what you have seen the guy did will not stop here as I said I recorded this will twice it failed me recording after one hour and 55 minutes the second time after one hour and 27 minutes I got really frustrated I was just I simply was uh, talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking to myself unbelievable he would not even he would not even bother to ring the phone or anything like this that's all the hair you do that there is what is that stuff yeah you can I think that's I'm on a terrace there. and I demonstrate you a package this down below fun. you see I'm up on the terrace is... look, Brian, look at I'm that. up on a balcony right there. Look at it. I'm Stop watching right him from there. the balcony at this point to even and I go right here and, and look at that. I know there he put is... it on the chair what is there that you go stuff? so yeah I think that's a package um the first time when I video recorded that's close to two gigabytes file 155 minutes in part number two you're gonna see I open it up you know uh, that would for his fate. I stated the stuff well you're gonna see me open this watches so won't be a problem uh, the thing is that you know when this shit this is investigation is being involved since 2008 we are talking about no less here than exactly um, 16 years 16 years one six years of this year that you see 16 years it's a long 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 time frequently on a frequent basis the telephones such as a Samsung uh, let me see I'm gonna use a, a Korean company Korean phone makers Samsung um, Samsung was the one but then also from Finland Nokia the same thing uh, but what matters here in this case I'm gonna give you an example about it's it doesn't matter it's a Samsung or it's Nokia but Samsung who which was involved in this stuff from South Korea heavily 
started their telephones, the cameras, all the electronic, the high tech, really, uh, literally were given by the Japanese technology in 1996, I remember, in 1995, in 1996, uh, the high-tech technology, everything was given uh, to Samsung, to South Koreans, the Japanese, through this case. And it was like in the name of the help, they told me, it's going to be a help, It's gonna we're going to pay you and so on, because we got it through you and this and that. Uh, and it was Japanese that would equip Samsung with the stuff that they would, later on, they would they would keep the technology secret till they would literally create, uh, they would prepare for production of the models, technology, their assembly lines, everything. Uh, so they would, Japanese would give them a model, just like this here that you see, and they would prepare themselves, then they would launch the production. Typically, people would already have specimen, you know, specimen, or I would say model, um, models, Uh, already, like, always, it would be, like, five to six years ahead of manufacturing, ahead of many, uh, production. Always. I'm just giving you example. These are not telephones. These are watches. But the people that were involved in MKO, they would frequently have gadgets, electronic gadgets, even cars that were due to production uh, within, like, five, six years after they would already involve them in MK Ultra, so this is totally, totally deadly. If you come up and you say stuff, even more than that, even more than five, six years, even more than five, six years, totally deadly. If you would make statements like this, you could get yourself in a lot of trouble. You would make yourself in a lot, a lot of trouble if you would say stuff like this, that you. Uh, you know, oh, oh, this is already 2008. No, 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 no. I have to explain to you how it all works, how this stuff works. Uh, the cars that were involved in MK Ultra from, well, it didn't end with Japanese giving everything to Samsung, always. Uh, Samsung caught up with the Japan, and in some areas, at least is what the Japanese started to insist me. Um, South Koreans, I think they wanted to save money or whatever. They were not excited about sharing any money. Uh, so they were not excited about me. I was a bad, bad, bad commercial and so on. Uh, started to insist me that it was South Koreans that in some fields were more developed even than Japanese and would give them in return certain things, whatever, whatever they were doing. But all these companies, all these companies were involved. South Korea, everything, Hyundai, Shangyong, all the companies that you have in Korea were heavily involved in it. And so was Finnish, Nokia, and so on. All the companies were heavily involved in it. The broker that took the credit for technology transfer always or British royals they would they would always go through the British royals they were like brokers they would authorize you know they try to make themselves look at this big so what I'm talking about here to you it's a normal thing it applies to MK Ultra it applies to elites it applies to top elites top technology top companies stuff I'm talking to you about this is in the real world this is the way it works now, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch have did, did have watch that looked like this, but it would be thick like this. Uh, just he would be using stuff like this to intimidate, to drive insane, to terrorize, to traumatize during MK Ultra. Um, likewise, just as I have adjusted uh, this watch, the time on this watch on March the 13th, 2024. I have also made sure on March the 25th, that's basically five days ago, I would adjust time to all these watches here. For which, by the way, um, apparently even Chinese insisted me that I have to take the batteries out. 
um, that batteries are going to go bad. No, they're not going to go bad. They knew about the Slovenian police, what Slovenian police would do. I would go and squeeze either my mom would do or if I would leave the watch at home, squeeze the watches till the battery would be depleted. They would destroy you, kill you the battery. Frequent tactic. And I must say that when I went to visit the father on my foot, um, three days ago, uh, I have seen a lot, a lot of cars running in my direction toward home. And it was all kinds of stuff that happened once I came home. Uh, trespassing into room. Uh, I had mods on one folder. It's exactly what I was told based on MK Ultra scenario by investigator whom I had met at police station in Novomest in 2022, where I came to request for assistance in respect to father's medical files, which General Hospital Novomest would not supply me with. Uh, just tip them over to remind me of what he said under MK Ultra he would do. Slovenian police was the one who planted mods inside of my room. And it was not only inside of my room. Um, it was a bunch of other stuff that happened that lets me know there was a big action that went on when I went on foot out of the house. Something went on. I don't think it was mother that went on and started doing stuff like this, but okay. I wasn't here. So there's no way for me to say. Um, we go back here to to the time and date, and we'll continue. Five days ago, when I adjusted this watch here, and basically this is what the watch is showing today as a time. You can see that this watch is up to the last second. I mean, this is like very, very, very satisfactory. Very, very, very satisfactory watch. There is nothing to say. Uh, this one I have improperly adjusted uh, four days ago. Uh, even if it would not show me a proper time, um, this watch is incredibly... Uh, it, they're incredible. Simply time-wise, keeping time-wise. Um, what can I tell you? Um, this watch is since I started about 2008 were given in hands of Chinese future manufacturers uh, by Japanese who had this kind of technology. They developed this kind of technology and they had it in program to go in a massive production through China. This watch is a Chinese-Japanese watch. The Japanese watch is a part of the watch is a mechanism is what you see inside the way the watch is powered analog digital watch and so are others uh, and for that matter uh, you can see that the the precision is there the, there it's a precision and uh, it's a quality watch first of all it's a quality watch it was all kinds of stuff that went on and I will explain to you in continuation but um, This particular watch, this particular watch, I'm going to do the review as soon as I check the time. So the first we're going to do is we're going to review the time. Every one of these watches has a big story behind them. This is the second watch. What matters is that even if the watches are not showing me right now exact time, according to what I adjusted one from... Um, Five days ago, and this already uh, pertains to also this watch, which went wrong like for a few minutes, and now is going exact. You see, uh, I adjusted one again the next day on March uh, the 26th when I went on to record, and now it's working up to the last second. I would say almost uh, uh, completely, completely look. 
exactly 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 to what you see right there you know it's like incredible one second ahead that's because i didn't set that second the way i should but other than that this is it the two you have to separate it manually uh, you will have to adjust the time for the two i prefer to have the same time on both the one in the back in the rear and the one up front um, if this watch would not show a proper time just as it happened to me that i had to go and adjust one one more time it will be because listen to me very good during mk ultra when they were testing these watches about how exact these watches were it was a big fucking disappointment i remember it was watches they had and some watches would be five minutes ahead some three minutes ahead some would be exact it was a big confusion uh so based on that kind of scenario i also know that it was the police that would out of probably thousand watches they ordered over the course of the time like this choose me the watches that they would have a certain uh issue on them and that means that once you would adjust them they would work up to the last like this like you have seen it's working now uh but um i don't know why i don't know how uh somehow that you have to properly adjust them uh i should say calibrate it would be better expression would be calibrate them so that uh, because 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 this is the way it works because you see this analog part is what you see this pointers here you see the hands hands is what's called um analog and the digital obviously is what you see here in the background that's called that's a digital part of this analog digital watch uh, and a digi watch is also what they call this stuff and so what happens with this stuff is that uh if you have just like let's say analog watch or whatever you also would always adjust the watch like this. you would go like if you want to adjust like beginning like it like like let's say it's right now 211 you would have to go back and then you would go from this side you know in this direction in a watch direction you would go and you would you would twist all the way our our uh, marker hand uh hand to to our marker and then you would adjust minute to 11 minute marker yes and that would then give you the ability for you to uh basically for the watch to work if you would go vice versa and you would go from counterwise from the watch to adjust and you would go our mar our hand you would adjust to two hour marker and then you would take a minute hand and you would adjust one to uh you know 11 uh, now 12 minute marker it would not work because the inside right because it's a counterwise it's this way is the energy is pushing that will that uh will I, I don't know how you would say that but that powers the um, the center of the watch whatever uh it goes this way so that way you don't have what is known as a luft you don't have empty space inside yeah so but if you go this way, you know, and you, you're pushing this way, this hands, you create like before, before eventually it's going to grab and start turning that way. It is going to be making empty space inside and then it's going to grab that thing and start to pull. So that's why uh, you have to properly adjust this stuff in, you know, so that you would, even if it would not work today, this watch properly like up to the last minute and it would be like two three minutes or whatever it would be doesn't mean that it doesn't work uh, i'm talking about of course not the digital part but i'm talking about the analog part therefore this hands this pointers here that you see is what i'm talking about when it comes to you know uh, watch exactness the um however the the time however it should be up to the last second so um, according to mk ultra scenario this is also the issue they experienced 
Um, let's see what that looks like. It looks to me like up to the last second exact. Uh, even the analog is just incredible. Made in Japan, made in China. Better we did already this one. Better than I think. If you ask me, this watch is a better than a Rolex. This watch is when they first came out uh cost about two thousand dollars even i was taught by chinese to tell you even some dude insisted five thousand it was hard to believe him but two thousand is a whole lot of money and it was like this and i'm talking about this watches i'm not talking about Omega, or I'm not talking about um, Breitling or something like that. I'm talking about this particular disc watches. This company uh, used to be, uh, the history of this company from what I was told was like a smaller company, but like a four, five companies in Japan that would do the stuff like this. Uh, and it was, apparently it was reduced uh to one company that those companies went broke sometimes like oh i don't know this was a long story like four companies and something even had to do with some brothers or something like this in japan uh, and it was reduced into one company and then that one would sold itself also to miyota miyota is casio that's japanese casio so another one is this here This watch had been resented by uh, the watch lovers, uh, the wealthy folks, due to the what is acrylic uh, plastic. Uh, they are not with the glass. I don't. Uh, uh, this one, uh, digital part, as you see, is up to the last second. And the other stuff is what I mentioned you earlier. I did not uh, properly adjust it. The, um, the analog part, the same as it happened to me with this watch. So we have these two watches, but the digital part is up to the last second. So we are going now exactly according to MK Ultra scenario, which is possible. I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep you updated about this stuff. So I will keep you updated with this stuff, and uh, you know you will get to see basically what's going on. So this one is up to the last second. Everything also all adjusted on March the 25th. All the watches that you see here were adjusted on the March the 25th, except this watch which I adjusted the next day and it's working to me up to the last second, even the analog part. Yeah. So what do we have here going on? We have three watches here that are up to the last second. And we have one more here that is going to have to be the analog part is going to be have to be adjust adjusted. Uh, when it comes to the time wise, when it comes to the seconds and, and stuff like that, 17 oh, this one is going wrong for like three seconds it's going wrong for about three seconds and something three seconds three is going wrong three seconds uh, but the analog part as you see here what is this 18 20 analog part is 100% and the digital part maybe i made a mistake these are all good very very satisfactory all of them the three of them totally passed the test this one i have to adjust the time also just like i did on this one four days ago and then we're going to see basically what's going on with this one you know japan made mechanisms uh this kind of stuff this is like um 
for me, this this watches are about the value, the real value of this watch is, look, I don't know how much the Rolex costs, but yeah, I would say that the value of this watch is about 1,000 times higher than the real value, you know? 1,000 times higher value than of a Rolex, I would say, yeah? Um, let's see this stuff here. Yeah, yeah, guys, fuck you, eh? This is a Rolex price. Let's see this here. I just want to know what is the cheapest one. Uh, five to eight thousand dollars is they say here what is the cheapest, right? This is like an entry. And I would say, yeah, I would say the value of this watch is about at least 1,000 times better than of Rolex, I would say, indeed. But a Rolex, uh, I don't know what the water resistance is on this stuff, but it was established during MK Ultra that Japanese water resistance, which this is not, this water resistance is totally, totally made in China. The housing that you see is made in China. And the housing, the Chinese watch housing, was the first time when the Japanese also paid attention to the water resistance. The Japanese watch is famous for also water resistance, however, which provided also water resistance, um, had to pay attention to the Chinese quality of the housing due to Chinese government, which demanded that if it says three bars water resistance must be three bars, if it says five bars, therefore 50 meters, it's got to be 50 meters and so on. In short, um, if you had a Japanese-made watch and it said five bars of water resistance, you should definitely not go and swim with that watch. Whether that was Casio, Seiko, and Citizen, with the 50 meters of water resistance, once you jump into the water, you could expect water inside of the watch. Well, this is not exactly the case with the Chinese housing, despite, as I stated, some people, hey, look at this poverty here for... What is it? Five. What is this right there? King. This is King. Uh, five to eight thousand uh, dollars. And look at this here. For just, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. Look at it. Something that you can put on the hand and actually go swimming with. Do not press buttons. You cannot do anything like what I'm going to demonstrate you with the Japanese made watch. If it says 50 meters of water resistance, don't do it. All right, guys, here we are trying uh, this metal watch. It's a very uh, good price watch, but many people ask me to do a real diving try. We're going to start doing something easy in the pool so you can see how it develops. I like many brands of watches, uh, diving watches, uh, different brands. I'm not Come on, man. Jump in there already and make it short. You want to go and try this with a Casio? Well, with the old Casio watches, definitely you couldn't do anything like this. If, of course, you didn't want, um, you know, water inside of your watch. A Chinese government officials got very upset uh, because 
I don't know what happened, uh, but they get very, very emotional about water resistance, selling it to the customers, and they took initiative in making sure that this Chinese watches, if it says five, um, if it says five bars, that you would actually get enough kick out of it. Do you know the guy that I demonstrated you right now uh, was involved in it? Um, and he did, if this is, let me see this, this guy also was involved in it. The same guy. This is, what is this, five meters? I get it. This is what this is. Try to do it with the Casio, and you're going to see how it feels. Especially, it's not going to feel too damn good if you're going to pay 50 bucks for it, or $30 for it. And you can get this on a special from 10 to $15. Um, I remember the neighbor here uh, would be using literally this kind of watches for diving. So this is the stuff you will not go, or at least you will regret if you will do with the Rolex. By the way, also, which looks to me like a shit, more than a watch. You can get this here, this stuff here for a fraction of the cost. Running on, I'm gonna do a little commercial because I got this really, really cheap. I will do a little commercial for this company, Smile, Smile. They get this stuff dirty, 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 dirty cheap. Even they're running special right now for six euros and a half. So God, God help you if you go and you dive, you happen to dive with your Rolex and um, you see that there is fish swimming inside of one. You're going to be so poor like never before, I think. If it happens something like this to you with, with a watch like this, you're not going to go broke, for one thing. You're not going to go completely insane. Is that like a price on that kind of stuff? I think sanity is worth more than uh, five or $8,000 based on my case. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear fucking Rolex if you, I don't know, if you pay me. Seriously, the second thing I will do, I will review this also watch, which also arrived together on March the 25th. Uh, and basically is not as exact. It's got about like, uh, it's got a, Wait a minute. This is good. This is 28. Almost, almost, almost up to the last second. Within the five days, this is this is much, much, much better than the watch that I demonstrated you earlier, uh, which I have adjusted 17 days ago, however. So this one is not as exact, not as exact as that one. Going quite wrong about 23 seconds about exactly what the police investigator stated me will be 40 to 45 seconds wrong per month. 
this watch absolutely was involved in MK Ultra. This is not a new watch. This is an old used watch. Also used. Uh, and so are all these watches for which Slovenian police demanded from me to claim you that three watches are new and the two watches are used. They demanded from me to claim to you these two watches are used and the three watches are completely brand new. No, they're not. They're not new. Um, none of these watches is new. This watch here in particular, this one here, which is, uh, if you go and you run special, it's a model 8060. Yep. This watch here, did you see right there? Uh, it belongs to the guy who was involved in MKUltra, and he is from Greater than Great Britain. Look, he's got a Panther, he's got a Puma, Panther, and he said, I am going to do that for you, man. Hello, everyone. Uh, and he did. He did it. He managed to fuck them quite good for me. Uh, he did an excellent job of all these washes here that you see. The best wash I like, and it really reminds me of him, is this one here. Um, he fucked them because... As you're about to see in part number two, it will be in part number two, we're now at part number one. You're going to see a scratches like this. I got to be careful with this stuff. You know, the watch like this, actually, they sell for 40 bucks, 30 bucks under different brand names like Liga, Foxbox also make watches like this. And they're way more expensive. Uh, not only they are more expensive, but these are really valued technology as far as I'm concerned. Based on my generation, based on what I have seen in my life, uh, these are extremely, extremely valued watches. I just wish I have ordered watch like this already before. I have not because of this psychiatrist, cops and Slovenian police who traumatize as well as politicians. I'm going to get to that stuff heavily with this stuff. So number one thing you're going to see when I open it, you're going to see on the watch, it's this year it's a scratch. He scratched like this deliberately he did. This guy whose video you're going to see right there. And he really, really fucked them. This is a real scratch. This he did. Uh, let me put the microscope on so that you can see. He did this stuff for me. Uh, and he barely, barely qualified. He barely have qualified for his watch to participate in MK Ultra. The one who reviewed the watches from the participants was a Slovenian police. Uh, and after Slovenian police selected the watches, those had to be approved by the British royals, that is in particular Prince Charles who would go on, and together with another royal, I am not going to mention, to protect his ass, would then approve or disapprove. But they were pretty much accessible to all of them, uh, all of them have seen exactly what I will get on a desk. Uh, you see, this here is knifed. This stuff is knifed. Uh, you're going to see when I open it up, it's scratched. It is kind of difficult to uh, actually even, isn't it? It kind of, it, it's, it difficult, it sits difficult. To video record this stuff. Oh, look, we're gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna move this 
slowly softly let's see that uh, this British dude is actually from Egypt and I would really really thank him for this stuff he really really did a good job he did an outstanding job by scratching this watch he barely I understand would qualify for this stuff uh, but he did I was a bitch enough uh, and so he did it and I'm glad he did and he did me a favor to be honest with you for one thing he shut mouths to Slovenian police because they cannot say that this are new watches they're not no watch that have visible defects deliberate uh, scratches or del either deliberate scratches or scratches due to wear is new new watch also is not the watch that is being stored in a storage for many years um, like I'm gonna demonstrate you this watches A new watch also is not the watch that's been opened. This is actually much, much, much bigger scratch. That uh, for oh, okay, finally. Let's just hope that I. Okay, this is so much better. This is basically what this looks like from up closer and not even this because I cannot come completely close to it. I think still the best can be seen with a telephone. But this is knifed. This is 100. Ah, there you go. Like with the knife you go and you like scratch. You do the scratches like that, you know, scratched, scratched up. Ah, you can see those silver, like that, scratches. A bit difficult to see. Uh, really better with a, with, a, with, a, with a phone, because I cannot come close enough to, you see? Yeah. Everybody get to review these watches, including Americans, who also claim this watch is new. No, it's not new. I would not have a guts to jump uh, with any of these watches inside of the water. Joe Biden obviously truly, truly lost his mind big time. The thing about it is, these idiots would not even know how to properly replace seals inside of the watch, gaskets in other words. Uh, and when the watch is open like more than on a dozen occasions, to fuck with, to play with, that's not a new watch, buddy. I would not have a guts. These watches are beautiful, gorgeous, but I will not use them for the swimming. Instead, I will wait for the police to return my watches. Once I get my watches, uh, still I will go ahead and inspect them. Yeah, I'm going to have more money also to play with the gaskets, seals and stuff like that. And I'm going to make sure then I'm going to use them. I would not want to lose the watch like this, no matter what, because in my opinion, as I stated, they're better, thousand times better, in a real sense, than Rolex. This is a value to me. This is what presents a value. Uh, incredibly good looking watch for such a cost that is anybody in the world can afford watch better than Rolex. Whether you're in India or in China or in Africa or in South America, or where this is this is a value to me. This is a real, real value. The best watches ever. And if I only knew that this watch is so good, if I only knew that this watch is so good, that they are so good, these watches, I would just, I would simply not even bother with any other watch. Just. I would go simply and purchase watches. One watch would be enough. One watch like this. And that would be it. So this is my MK Ultra choice. The police investigators demanded from me to see myself in a watch like this, which are also great watches, I would say. 
uh, incredible value, fantastic value. Uh, but for me personally, uh, these are the watches that I adhere the most to. This, every, every one of these watches here is... Man, I thought that, uh, you know, I, I was excited about this watch here that I would get because of MK Ultra. I wanted this watch. Uh, to tell you the truth, I, I am with these watches here. I am I'm surprised with this smile company. Uh, the way this stuff here is, is just I, I saw from Liga exactly the same model like this. I'm going to break down later on on this watch. It's in, I don't know, uh, in part number, in part number three, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't guarantee you that. I'm going to open some sport channel or something and I'm going to do this stuff. If I only knew that this was good, I wouldn't waste any fucking money. I would go straight to some point like this. Any watch like this would do it for me. Any one of this would do it for me. That's it. Because you, you don't get anything better. Not that it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me doesn't apply here. It doesn't get any better. This is the thing. When it comes to watch, no. Uh, the watches are big. Yes, they're big. They are big. You're going to hear me lambasting. Uh, in a part number two, you're going to hear me lambasting. I'm going to go and I'm going to say, Oh, no, man. Uh, these are not... Uh, you're not going to hear me lambasting. You're going to hear me saying that uh, just like you, you're going to hear this guy whose video also I'm going to post underneath, below. I'm going to put his video on. And you can hear him saying that the belt this is not is big enough. Actually, the belt is too big. The strap is too big. He is very, very happy with this, very satisfied this, with this watch. I bought this watch because of him. I would not buy this watch if it was not for him. I'm going to say thank you. Egyptian boy. Multifunction also, it does have built-in stopwatch, it also has luminous mode as well, so it does have the night light when you press it, so for night time you can see the light. Wear this, and let me show you exactly how it looks. He right, couldn't so put one on, he couldn't put one on, stylish. yeah. And he's got another video for which he stated me. Um... He played something a little bit. He did with the police. He had to do the stuff for the police. But like I've stated, the scratch here he did is priceless. Now we're going to get to all those issues. We are still at the part one, number one. We are still at the part number one. You're going to see... You're going to see I'm going to be talking to you in part number two about the scratches. That they're all... This watch all fucking scratched up in the back. They're not. I'm going to review these watches right now. As I stated, they're not new. Um, for the reasons already I specified to you, they don't have to be used not to be new. Uh, and the thing about it is that they're not. Um, stainless steel. You see this paper here? I already have removed one away. This is exactly what Slovenian police have done. Uh, I keep that paper. Uh, that scratches on one. That it just looked like as if this watch all fucking scratched in the back. As, as I open it up and I look at it and I was like, my God, fuck it. It was all scratched up, you know. Um, it all looked like scratched up to me. Uh, and I, I, I became mad because police investigator, a criminal employed at the Nova Mesto police, whom I have 
required to assist me with the right to my access, my father's medical files in 2022, was the one who demanded from me to accept even this watch as a new watch. In fact, he claimed for this watch, due to uh, what there will be meetings at the Brdo Prikranio here in Slovenia, NATO even meetings and stuff like that, that uh, this police would go on these meetings and uh, they told me this is going to be the watch like this is going to be the watch this is going to be a watch nice metal and like this is going to be the watch you're going to be using when you're going to be interacting with the foreign leaders when you're going to go in some nice place you're going to wear the watch like this and when i open it up the watch looked like incredibly beautiful because it's a really incredibly beautiful watch this watch is just totally i'm gonna say it's incredible this watch is incredible yeah it's incredible watch there is no there is no doubt about it for a few bucks that you pay for it you get belt watch belt strap metal strap that is of a quality of a casio like incredible uh like i was like fucking shocked man because i wanted a good strap metal strap and as you know all the straps from all the watches they ordered slovenian police simply uh delivered them used and also have deliberately caused them damage damage them vandalize them it was two things they did the all the watches they from the belts they delivered to me were fucking nasty man scratched up fucked up with all the watches already discontinued uh, reminded me of those models that i ordered uh not that i ordered that they played with during mk ultra remember when i told you about the telephones about the uh, uh samsung etc etc well, that's exactly what we are talking about they would deliver me uh, through the postal office, through the postal services, Slovenian postal governmental services, watches that were used old, already long discontinued watches and not the watches that I ordered from the internet. That kind of stuff went on. Um, so what I'm going to say to you for this stuff, this watch here, you don't have to be if I go and I do the review for these watches, and I already told you exactly what's going on with this watch. There's just a few extra things I'm going to do for you, uh, explain to you about the stuff I did right now, but that's all there is to it, mostly, you know, for the most part. There's nothing much here for me to add. Um, this watch, you're going to hear me crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. Uh, I am not going to go and guess whether... The strap is new or is not new. Look, when this is the watch and, you know, it's not supposed to do stuff like that. You see? It's like, it's like cracking, basically. Because it, the belt itself was taken down, it was placed on. The same thing from this side. It's bent. Look at it. Look how it stands. Now, let me demonstrate you rather like this. Okay, this is not the way it's supposed to be like this. You know, it's not supposed to be like that. See this? Look. Ha, huh. what the fuck, eh? It doesn't even even itself up. And look how nasty it is. Now, this is the stuff you're going to see all in part number two. Look at this stuff here. Look at this shit. It's nasty. Eh? See it? Uh, they didn't even bother to properly, once they took the belt off the watch, they did not even bother to properly close this thing so that watch would be like the way it should be, you know. 
on one side it's like this on another side is like that that's definitely not a new watch that watch is being used uh, and it was the belt in fact that was taken off that was taken down you can see even so it's all fucked up it's all twisted it's nasty look at it look at this stuff here look what the fuck nasty that stuff is and it's actually designed to fall apart at just about any time exactly as to what police investigator who took my computer when I reported one being uh, not new a Lenovo computer uh, when I reported one to the police he was the one who with the mentioned police investigator in 2022 when I came in request assistance in respect to father medical fire the police station Novo Mesto was the one who promised me together with this investigator he also was the one playing with it who promised me he stated to me well this stuff is going to be done also in a such a way that once you're going to start wearing this stuff the watch will simply fall apart what a slovenian police would demonstrate me what they would demonstrate me they would do talking about now mostly with investigator so i asked them what the fuck am i going to do with it you know what they told me they told me you're going to take exactly this watch and you're going to put the mechanism inside remember this one is not exact it goes wrong for about 40 to 45 seconds per month so this is basically what they wanted me to do they wanted me to play switch mechanisms uh, Lunacy, Slavyansky, um, look, I watched the police investigator whom I have gone to request assistance in respect to father's medical files in 2022, uh, take, uh, uh, how you say that, um, a gaze i think it's it doesn't matter or a piece of cloth it's it's a white thing that you would be using on a q-tips i don't know how you say that to clean your air with. uh i think it's no it's not gaze it's a swap uh, i don't know how you call that stuff and he would go and use a rubber alcohol and would go like this after he would use the watch for 14 days one month or one month and a half or two months or idiot would change his mind and use for one month two months more whatever the fuck he was up to uh he would just go and use the rubber alcohol and the swap and would just go like this he would be doing in one direction uh removing all the scratches all the use wear tear basically removing the clear scratches that are characteristic for the new watch you know where you get a, a piece a metal when you get one from the machine it's always clean and clear you know like uh, bruises you know when you do the machinery work ding 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 when you i don't know how you say that when you stomp these pieces from the production you know it's when you look at the piece when you take the piece in your hands you can see you can immediately you can see basically uh you know everything basically the way it's factor it's done you know but what he was doing is he was making this like less visible it wasn't about only removing the fingerprints and stuff like that it was making it less visible and then there's another danger it's why i'm gonna stop using this before um well, i will actually see read over educate myself before i would even go and use any of this stuff he would do the stuff like this to literally oxidize this shit, cause damage to the metal part, to the housing. And it did happen to me so early on the watch um, that it became rusty. Uh, they would develop the watches that uh, it will become rusty nasty ugly and so on yeah and that stuff is done by literally by a rubber alcohol as they demonstrated me they would use and they would brush and brush and brush in the back like fucking crazy and as this other individual police criminal 
investigator, employed as an investigator in the Novo Mesto police station, explained to me, once you're going to start using it, you're going to put on your skin and you're going to sweat. You know, it's a salt, it's acid that mixes with the damage that's being done to the housing. And what it happens is it gets rusty, it gets oxidated, it gets fucked up. From the beginning, when it all started, sometimes in 2002, uh, these Slovenian criminals wearing a police uniforms were extremely successful at it, demonstrated me actually the watches they managed to destroy like this. But now, uh, since technology have changed, and this stuff alone might have been replaced, I don't know uh, exactly when it comes to, it's supposed to be stainless steel, but I don't know really the technology behind this stuff. They might not be as successful. I don't know what now goes on with this stuff, whether this would do stuff like this, it would not. But this is the stuff I'm talking to you about. Goes all the way to 2000. And, you know, why? Because, you know, uh, there are different uh, finishing procedures that are done. Uh, anywhere from cars to watches to whatever it is to protect the surface from oxidation, from rust, and so on. So uh, you would use this type of procedures to protect, uh, you know, from atmospheric elements that I mentioned. Uh, and so uh, I don't know really what the outcome of this stuff it would be. Maybe it's going to be like this. Maybe it's not going to be. But they demonstrated me in 2099, in 2000, in 2002, they were still demonstrating me how they managed to fuck up the watches like this with this alcohol. And that's the stuff they were promising me that they would be doing, stuff like this, yeah? So now if I go and I pay attention to this watch, uh, the belt you have seen partially already, uh, I am going to quickly review this for you. What exactly do I think about the belt? Uh, if nothing else, that this belt already have fallen the many times on the floor, it was not used. I'm sure you can see the scratches. This is all the stuff you're going to see originally when I open in a part number two. Not being done by Bobby, no. I didn't do it. I got nothing to do with it. You don't have to worry about authenticity of the stuff I'm talking about. Because in part number two, I go completely insane. And you're going to hear me cursing and stuff, uh, me being sure about something that is out there, actually that's being done because of the stuff like this, that in fact, in reality, was not even. Uh, why don't I just step outside? I think the light is going to be the better. Police investigators told me, go out. When you go out on a bright light, uh, it's going to be so much better uh, light at everything it's going to be easier for you to do the review of the watch. Yeah, I hope I have not done. So let's see how it's outside, if it's truly. Because they said outside, anything can be seen. Everything can be seen. And look, really look at that. We can see so much better outside this stuff. They were right. See the police? They were right. They were totally correct about it. It's also less... Uh, gloss, it's less. Oh, look at that. Uh, that stuff is actually what the fuck is that, man? That's all bent. Eh? Look at that. <laughs> oh, it does kind of looks nasty. Um, they also have insisted me about the stuff you see like this on the side here that you see. Um, but this is just due to the way this stuff is manufactured. Um, and also because, yeah, this watch is not new. This watch is used. Something you're going to see when I go after and I open it up. Uh, it's quite nasty, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. So I have to be careful because the surface is not clean. Let's do it like this. Uh, 
Um, more about this uh, scratches, including this one here that you see on the side. This is like scratch, you know, scratch, I guess, scratch. You're going to see in continuation when I go about it. What is important to note is that the watches in the rear do not have scratches, as I insisted they have. Uh, so I am only referring to... Uh, to that kind of stuff this is this watch does have due to plastic paint uh, a surface like this this is not a metal uh, it's imperfect because it's it's a plastic stuff uh, let me see if I can see this with a bare eye and if you if you go in the back you can see authentic uh, scratches you will see once you get into the part number two uh, this is not what the scratches look like and they are all over the watch this watch it was without any kind of protection in the back uh, this watch was simply uh, how can I say, without those papers that I demonstrated you earlier that other watches had. It is very, very difficult to record, isn't it? Um, maybe, maybe it's a light, I don't know what the fuck is it, but very, very, very difficult to... I'm going to take the light off to see if, if I can do better now. Okay, I already indicated you, you were able to see that these watches are definitely not new, that these definitely are used watches, and this was the worst watch. Telephone is really giving me a hard time. Very, very difficult to record. I can assure you, however, this watch is nowhere near any condition so that I would see this is new. This watch is a tremendous value because already because of the belt like this, the belt is like Casio quality belt. It really is. I rate the belt itself as like a top of the line Casio uh, belt. Love the belt like this. If you want a high quality belt, then this is all you need. For me personally, uh, but if you want extras, if you want to keep your watch inside of the fucking drawer, that's basically what the Rolex people do. Uh, they wear once when they go in the church. Go ahead and make my day too. I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can see the scratches. You can see the scratches all over. It's also oxidized, the stuff that I mentioned to you, uh, due to uh, most likely what was the play with the alcohol, with the rubber alcohol and stuff have taken place on this watch. Nasty fucking watch. Uh, and uh, what can I say? Scratched up very difficult to record very very difficult to record because it's metallic like this it's a metal and it's just giving things it's just giving me a hard time to record this stuff not an easy thing to record i think i made a point i don't i don't think that that uh, that i need more than that this is not where you go to the store to purchase watch like this you don't you don't go and do the stuff like this Slovenian police insisted me, they insisted and insisted to me that they will return the watches to me uh, indirectly. They insisted they would return the watches to me. 
Uh, that, that's because these criminals uh, believe that uh, I would be satisfied with uh, no, 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 not because uh, I would be satisfied with getting my watches returned. No, 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 no. Uh, they fuck you by doing this kind of stuff, and they did fuck me. They fucked me a lot with this kind of logic. It is a whole logic, you know that we. we we will return you and we will not. And it was all the time I had to listen how they fight with one another, that they will not return and they will return and so on. And they wanted me to take sides and it driving me insane. No, 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 no. They don't do that kind of stuff. They don't do this kind of stuff to... to uh, they don't do this kind of stuff for you. They, they, they want you to say, you know, uh, whatever doesn't matter uh, they do this kind of stuff to fuck you like this uh, I don't have it here let me demonstrate to you why they do the stuff like this and <clears throat> they do the stuff like this so that once you already receive um, like for instance for example bags like this which however are damaged you know, I did the video recorder, video recorded about that stuff already. You will not wear them. And you will not wear them because you is, it became so toxic and so dangerous, so deadly. Uh, guys, you don't even know how violent this stuff is I'm talking to you about. This is such a world of violence that went on for 51 years in my life that you don't you don't actually even dream about the stuff I'm talking to you about. To you, all this shit seems like simple, easy. But it's not. It's complicated. It's shitty. It sucks. And that's exactly what is not. It's not simple. It's so toxic, stuff like this, that you would go and you, you literally would go and eat fucking poison to prove them wrong. I am a little bit abstract here. I'm just trying to give you an idea. So poisonous stuff it is that I personally, even that I have, I don't know how many of these bags I got, and they were not in a good condition. They were cut. They were in a bad condition. The way they presented me are going to fall apart and all kinds of stuff like this. Pieces that were involved in MK Ultra, so toxic that I continue to use uh, I will change now, because of this video I will change, that I continue to use this stuff. And they were behind cutting me these things, and they were behind destroying me zippers. And this shit is dirty and it's nasty. This is why they insisted to me about whether they're going to return my watches or not, so that I would not wear the watches that I got. This is why they have presented me these watches as the watches that are being used, oiled, and foremost to fuck me, for me to go out there and say, uh, you know, well, you know, uh, these watches are fucked up, they're no good, they're no new, and this and that. These are the issues that get you, eventually get you killed. So I remember in 2012, these very same people, the people that labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic, so they would get me in the psychiatric hospital and get me killed through the use of the psychiatric pills. The amount of health damage they created through the psychiatric pills, it just mounted. It just, you know, all the poisoning they did, it was just like a booster for all the health damage they caused through the psychiatric pills. No, oh, you don't understand how toxic, how deadly stuff I'm talking to you about. Once they label you as a paranoid schizophrenic, you have to be very, very careful how you do these reviews. Because if you don't do the reviews in a proper way, you can as well as mine prove them right. All these washes have been already investigated ahead of time, including by Chinese, British, Americans, everybody who participated in it. This is not a regular... Um, investigation. Everything I state, I have to justify, rationalize, or I'm dead, actually.
Do you remember Keltra? It was a police investigator. It was other, all kinds of police officers who suggested them, we will give you all the items. We will give you. Uh, the thing is, I will fucking tell you today that I am wearing this watch. I am wearing the watch. I will retain all these watches. These watches are all mine. And police will also return me my watches. These are not new watches. I will not be arguing with the plain logic. I will tell you. I will tell you, look. I will tell you, like, look, that that fucking company that you see there, that Kirka Pharmaceutical will be sold for twice as much as the company costs that will compensate me the money for this stuff. I will tell you this. You will fucking sell your Lec Ljubljana, whatever the fuck you have, and you're going to come up with the money that you owe me for this shit. That much about this watch is this one thing. I'm going to be the one who's going to tell you how this shit is going to be. In meanwhile, however, I decided I will, I, will, I will wear these watches. And I will also choose myself that stuff. I will fix myself. I will do that kind of stuff. I'm not going to be any more choosing, depriving myself of the stuff. Uh, so somebody would giggle behind my back, watch me all broken and destroyed. With idea in my head that the police had my items and they will return my items. No, I'm going to start using, enjoying these items. Police investigators insist that this is my watch, that's my watch, that's my watch. If you're going to be aware one, if you're going to damage one and so on, you're not going to... And we're going to get to that issue. If you will be doing that kind of stuff, you will... We will not... Today is Saturday, by the way. Right now, really, it's... The time that you see is 3.10. Not so many cars going at work. So the ambulance does its business. Uh, if you will be scratching my watch. It came to the issue that if you will scratch my watch. I will not give you your new watch that is at the police station. I will not give you a new watch. Imagine this kind of stuff. You know how toxic this shit is? You know how insane this stuff is? And everything since you were born literally comes not only in your mail that is ripped apart and destroyed, 1%, not even 1%. Listen to this. Look what the fuck is this. Hold on. Look at this. There's no traffic, there is no cars, there's nothing. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this ambulance vehicle with the lights on. Hey, they had me at the Kirka Pharmaceutical suggesting the workers in the Kirka Pharmaceutical that I'm going to take their homes and so on. That's, I'm going to say, just too fucking bad. All you had, all you were worried about, your, your fucking homes, your houses, your cars, your money, your things, that's just too fucking bad. For that matter, you, you have people over there in... Ljubljana, your politicians, and it's why you, the people, have placed me inside of the psychiatric hospitals already. You ruined my life. It's too fucking bad. And when you're going to talk to me, talk, instead of me, talk to your politicians that you have in Ljubljana. Don't talk to me about this stuff. It's like this. Uh, I will enjoy this stuff. There was a police officer that started to fuck with me during MK Ultra suggestion me which which that I shouldn't wear this go swimming with it because I'm, I'm gonna go to the water swimming with it uh, that what's gonna happen is the water will come out they're not resistant they have been opened and remember and this and that and it's my watch and this and that and there was another guy who said hey fuck it um, I what I do is I take the watch and I jump inside of the river and this is how I test if they are water resistant. Well, the thing is, I am not going to go and do any of this stuff, but I will enjoy them. I would rate and I would say today to you that 
out of these watches here that you see, um, in somewhat new condition, that applies to what this watch here, the, my Egyptian guy from Britain used. This watch was, um, I'm going to do this watch one more, and then I'm going to give you uh, what? Um, They say that I have to tell which one qualifies as new. None. As simple as this. None qualifies as new due to reasons I have stated earlier. If you keep the watch, like in the case of the Egyptian guy here that you see here, uh, this watch here, this watch is being worn. Um, this watch was worn for probably even about six months. Maybe the watch was worn even for six months. If I have his watch, uh, the watch is being worn for about at least six months. Uh, they wanted me to say three months and police investigator insisted to like a one and a half month. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. To me, for me, this watch, this, this watch here, this is like the best watch of all the watches I have. And it's the watch I wear. Um, this watch was worn. Let me see this here. Let's see this. What's what's like in the back? Um, yeah, you're gonna see in the part number two. You're gonna see in the part number two. You're gonna see this watch is this watch is um, You're going to see in the part number two, it, it looks really, really nasty because uh, when I got one, when I opened one, when I took one apart, you know, when I look at the watch, the watch was simply camouflaged. They have used uh, some kind of substance, something, which they have compared during MK Ultra to my laptop, to my computer. This is basically what it would look like this. I said nasty like this, like you have, it's going to be like on your computer, like this. To camouflage the face from the watch, basically this part, the front part that you see like this, it was all nasty. But it became evident that all the stories they gave me uh they did not they did not apply to this watch uh, i tell you what what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and do the review of every watch this is the best i don't have anything else i would add to this watch this watch is used definitely uh the belt the biggest concern that i have in respect to this belt um, is actually the part that you see right there This is the part that you see right there, is the part that the nurse Ayanko had a problem with. How a mentally retarded stuff it looks like, right? I mean, these are exactly the people that then you get to meet under crazy circumstances. And, you know, what do we say? If he's talking about, you know, stuff that he, the, the people, that he met people like this and that, well, it would really sound crazy. If I wouldn't have the MK Ultra proofs, I must admit, it would sound insane really like you read from some book about some lunatic or something like that yeah uh, except that i'm a little bit more literate than the writers of that book that's where the problem is uh so basically hey charles you know This here that you see here was presented to me. I would have, uh, it would be the biggest problem to me. Uh, I indicated them that this type of belt, uh, most likely the damage they would, uh, basically that they would do to this belt would be right here with this stuff. So I don't know. Uh, it looks pretty decent. It looks good. Uh, it closes, it works. And... I'm going to say 
to Slovenian police. I'm gonna say thank you. I'm gonna say thank you guys. I'm gonna say fuck you. Oh, it's it's uh, it is beaten up here on the side too. That's also interesting. At least oxidized. Maybe the time since these are all the watches that were involved in MK Ultra have taken its toll on it. Uh, that's also a possibility. If it was not used, which I really sincerely I doubt it. I don't wear this watch. I never wear this watch. Uh, this watch is scratched, man. That's that's a knife right there. As far as the watches, I'm going to say to Slovenia police, I'm going to say thanks, guys. Uh, I'm going to use it till I get also my watches. Not till I get back my watches. But until I get my watches, yeah. Likewise, like I said, I'm going to also change... Uh, the pouches and stuff that I have for the telephone and so on. I ain't going to be fucking waiting on anybody. Uh, there is stuff right there that's waiting on me. That's brand new at the police. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to start enjoying the benefits of this stuff today. These watches are free watches, actually. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, we did this stuff here. This is fucked up. Oh, look at that. Aha, <laughs> it doesn't work like this. You can hear the sound. It doesn't work like this. Um, so um, this is it about this kind of watch. Uh, the watch that I hoped for, invested the biggest hopes in it. It's not new. My goodness. This watch, imagine, was the worst in a worst state of the mall. Is this was really the watch that I was really looking forward to and really does have a beautiful belt. Um, I will, well, not be doing that kind of stuff yet. Um, this watch, they also fuck it up because it's five atmospheres. This was the one I was hoping. Uh, in case you don't have the money anyways, and you are afraid to put the oil in it, you can do some hydro mowing. If you like to go swimming, you don't have to go and buy, you don't have to go and spend hundreds of dollars to buy yourself expensive, I don't know, uh, Seiko watch and stuff like that, you know. You can just go and you can just, you can just take the watch, you know. Let me see if I if somebody did that kind of hydro hydro mode. It's called a hydro mode, and you will be using a silicon oil, and you will put that you would you would you would throw that silicon oil inside of your watch. You would soak your watch inside of the silicon oil. Actually. The mechanism is what you would do. The mechanism, the movement inside, you would, you would just, you would simply go and you would hydro mode that stuff. This is a G-Shock indeed, yes, sort of. And I think it's better, I don't know. To me, it's definitely better value than, than, than any G-Shock any watch. Um, hydro mode is something like this so that you can use and then you can go swimming with it, diving. The watch, once you throw that silicon oil or whatever you have in it, you can just go, I don't know, with a regular watch that costs a few dollars, you can go and you can die with that watch for, um, I don't know, 100, 200 or 300 meters or four or 500 meters, I don't know how deep, wherever you want. How funny, because my mama stated with the psychiatrist's cop, she claimed that this sound of the phone that she's going to have, 
that this is a police, that this is a psychiatry, this is an ambulance, and so on. I get crazy stuff. This is MK Ultra element. Um, I would recommend you if you do hydro, hydro mode, do the digital one. Uh, uh, rather than uh, analog, even that people do analog also. You see, they do. They also do hydro mode analog watch. But I would say to you, probably you shouldn't hydro mode digital analog. Um, it all comes to viscosity of oil. Now water had a, is completely liquid, and it will get. That's why it also gets anywhere due to pressure that mounts itself around the housing. Uh, but once the watch is filled with oil, some people even put inside the olive oil, it will equalize the pressure on inside with the outside pressure, and there is no pressure that would insist that needs to get inside of the watch. So that's why you can get with a cheap watch, I don't know how deep you want to go diving, basically. You know what I mean? Uh, and the thing is that since this is only digital watch, and since this watch does have five bars of water resistance, and since Slovenian police knew that I will want the watch that I will go on the river and swim with and have a good time with, uh, that I don't actually see the... Uh, aha, okay, it says WR 50 meters right there, yes. Uh, and the other watch, which is this one here, only has three bars, that's 30 meters, which is the same watch, practically, it's the same watch. Uh, they went ahead and they fucked up uh, the housing, which was the most expensive part on this watch, to make sure that I could not go and or uh switch or whatever i would do yeah so yeah i am not gonna go and destroy this watch this watch is still good once i get my money i'm gonna buy myself seals gaskets i should say uh some right oil and we'll do just the stuff the way i want it but until then i will not go and do the stuff like this so the two are going to have to wait for the swimming. We're not going to be doing any kind of hydro oil, a hydro molding yet. We're not going to be doing that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I will use it. What can I say? I will, I will use. I like it. I will use. Um, if I were to replace, um, let me see this stuff here. Yeah, this is also interesting stuff to see. Yeah, I think so. I think that, that I do that kind of stuff too. Um, Uh, I'm not going to get into that stuff. Um, to put the shiz of shit further, um, Slovenian police would play with these stickers here that you see here uh, during MK Ultra. You see how small the sticker is the f that covers the face? You see it? Uh, here on the bottom part, it only comes up to here. This is a protective filter that is glued at top of the watch, so that the watch would not get scratched. Uh, and so Slovenian police insisted me they would place, they would mount a small stickers like this, so that I would make sure, just like on this watch, uh, to place my own sticker on it, which I did, which I recommend you guys if you want to protect your watch. Buy yourself some of that plastic that you can glue on your telephones and then just according to the face of your watch, 
cut that out and pop that at the top of your watch and then you have a strong rigid uh, plastic protection for your watch just like this this watch is here however you don't have to worry about because they come with original uh, plastic uh, is already it's like a, that kind of filter paper is so fine you can absolutely not see anything so beautifully done you know uh, this this are really um, i'm impressed with it uh, and so this is not even going to be a, such an easy task for you because the glass is like this actually the glass is like that you know the glass the glass itself the surface of the glass if you would a profile the surface of the glass it goes like this it goes like this it's curvy like that and then it goes like this this is like straight actually actually what the fuck i did really poorly this one okay so it's okay so i'm just gonna show you what exactly i mean right so it's gonna be kind of difficult to do it because you're only gonna have to you you are only allowed basically you can only do to protect maximum you can you do your watch protection you can only uh as a as a as a filter that you're gonna glue on top of it it's only this here that you will use only this stuff here you're only gonna up to here like this this uh, stuff here because it's curved the plastic is curved it goes like this you're not gonna be able to cover so if you're gonna do a really good job it's gonna look something like this you know but you will never ever be capable to glue the whole thing this stuff with the slovenian police goes into the uh, category of harassment for which i told you earlier if you will scratch my watch if you will scratch my watch <laughs> i did not bother to put the filter here uh, to scratch anybody watch don't worry this this is my watch you're not going to get one back and my watch is the one that you have stolen is waiting on me to come to pick one up at the police station that also is my watch not your watch uh, so they did this kind of stuff uh, when i say they did this kind of stuff they paranoided me it's called the paranoia incitement into paranoia through the anger through the toxic to make you completely toxic toxic stuff uh so to drive you insane nuts completely uh they did this kind of stuff so that i would say that these watches don't come with this kind of originally they don't come with this kind of stuff with this kind of cover no it's not really the true uh the truth is they did did fuck with this stuff because the way it's placed like that i'm sure that in the factory they didn't put this filter on this plastic like that uh but in reality i do believe i don't know maybe they don't even come like this i don't know uh in reality you're gonna have to do this stuff yourself in reality most likely they do come with with a shitty protection like this and are not as protected as good as this yes <clears throat> and so but this is MK Ultra. This is the type of investigation we are doing. I have to reveal you how they were trying to drive me nuts to say that they deliberately place a smaller paper on it because this is what they brainwash me with. Yeah, this is investigation. This is a strange, different type of investigation, but this is basically the way it goes. Imagine a last time when I did this kind of stuff and computer stopped. Actually, telephone started stopped to record twice and i did this shit for six hours just to realize i did not video record i wasn't happy about it especially i wasn't happy about it because in the second part as we are getting now so this watch here is finished as far as i'm concerned the rest of it you're going to see me cursing in part number two talking about how the watch is uh, uh, being used and worn out and i don't know what the fuck i'm going to come up with the theories uh this is it for me one reviewed uh, the second watch, if I would go review, basically there are two reviewed watches. This, the second one, this one was from March 13. The second watch I will review is basically this one here. This watch here. This was the watch uh, that I liked during MK Ultra. also. This is another thing is that I like this watch during MK Ultra, And 
uh, I like one in real time. I like every one of this. I really enjoy them. Um, this watches, ladies and gentlemen, come with the Japanese batteries. They come with the batteries that probably work two years. Um, in my case, because I used the battery already a few times, uh, I, I squeezed the light here. Uh, they, however, must go on for at least a year and a half. Unless somebody uh, replaced them, which 100% in my case, this watch already on several occasions uh, must have a battery replaced. The original battery must have been replaced. This watch has been opened up at least on a dozen occasions. Um, it's not as bad as I talk about it in part number two. If I go back to this guy here, uh, whom I have demonstrated you, the, the my Egyptian guy from Britain. Hey, he's got the accent here. He has, he's waterproof up to 50 meters, multifunctional, so it does have built-in stopwatch. He also has luminous mode as well, so he does have the night light when you press it. So for night time, you can see the light. I would say to you, buy whatever watch you're going to buy and make sure that you, once you open it up, order yourself from AliExpress gaskets, seals, and before you're going to go swimming, also get yourself a nice proper set of screwdrivers. Then properly uh, seal the watch back by literally going and uh, using first screws to twist properly to adjust the screws in the following order. This and this. First, second. And then this and this. Don't go one, two, three, four. Because basically when you squeeze this, this is one and it works in a cross section like this. And then it goes this and then it goes this. Uh, so it prop the cover properly adjusts itself. And then what you do is you, you go each one more and you make sure that it's properly sealed. You might also have to purchase, I don't know about it. Uh, but there is also some kinds of oil, something like this, that they put inside of this channel where it comes the gasket inside, uh, the seal. Uh, and so that it's exactly, exactly, exactly accordingly with the manufacturer's specifications. Don't fuck with this stuff because you're going to have a problem. If you do it all the way you properly should do it, and then you can have any of these watches for the stuff like this. And you got to admit, this is funky. Isn't it? Going like this on five meters deep water, uh, swimming like that, that's actually a fun stuff to do, fun stuff to have, without even going and hydromoding the watch. Yeah, I would say do not hydromode this watch. Do not, do not hydromode this watch unless you know what you are doing. I have never hydromoded a single watch in my life, and you know that for that matter too. I chose to um, would have something like this, but I will wait because I don't know nothing about. Um, I am not going to even take the batteries out, as I was brainwashed to take them out, uh, because you know when we set the record clear, I want to do what is going to be the third investigation so that we actually see what the fuck they did inside what is inside and so on i one time i caught them oh i opened the package at the postal office um it was enough of it uh, i i caught them like that um i however would not go and fuck with this stuff here with any of these watches till i actually make sure that i i plan on having these watches for a very long time um, I was told that these watches do not last during MK Ultra. I was told that these watches last only like uh, like five years or something like this. I frankly have to say I am in disbelief of something like this because of Japanese mechanism inside. I very, very doubt about that stuff. 
I don't think they are they go for five years. Um, I don't think they go even in 10 years. I think the watch like this most likely would last you at least like 15 years, I would say, and possibly even longer, I think. I am not going to use the battery at all. That's, I mean, uh, the light. Uh, because another funky thing about this stuff is that with a smartphone, uh, these numbers are so... Uh, I don't like using basically the battery. I don't. I don't like to. I don't like to waste the battery. It's Japanese battery inside. It's gonna last me, maybe even two years. Who knows? Uh, unless they did something else. Now, if they did something else, and that's why I'm not gonna use the batteries on any of these watches. I'm not gonna open them. I'm not gonna take the batteries out. I'm not gonna do any of that kind of stuff because I would not have any kind of proof. Um, if they did, this is right behind our house. Uh, this is where the junk is. They put this behind our house. It also was uh, the location where I would be tortured also by the village people, neighbors here and so on. Uh, how to view the trash and so on and stuff like that. Yeah. So this one was very loud here. Uh, it's okay. The police will come soon for a visit and we will be discussing also this kind of issues with the neighbors. It's okay. No neighbor will escape. Um, I'm not in a hurry to put anybody on a camera already, is what I'm trying to say. Unless I have to. Um, this here is a beautiful video, isn't it? I'm not going to go and fuck it up the video like this. Um, especially after I wasted so much time. Um, what else can I tell you about this stuff here? Oh, about this watch here, nothing much. You're going to see me in part number two. The watch was completely covered with some nasty stuff all around. And it was this politician here. His name is Robert Golob. Uh, this is individual whom I have rated as mentally insane. already back in 2000 um, he had already hair crazy hair uh, I didn't like him he was a thug from Milan Kuchan and I frankly didn't like this guy uh, he deliberately now also wears a hair like this and Slovenian nation elected one as a Slovenian prime minister so he had he has apparently control over the ambulance vehicles this is basically what he uh, threatened me with and he is posing with his magnificent haircut right there making idiot even bigger out of himself than what otherwise would be seen as so we go up here, you can, I'm sure you can admire this nasty haircut. Why the fuck we have water and shampoo, I do not know. So there you go, this is the author of um, Uh, yeah, he is um, a special kind from Milan Kuchan, so he has some really, really outstanding, really, I, I would not be uh, doing stuff like this to the public, I mean, you know, I'm just, I know that Donald Trump is one of a kind, but at least Trump appears, he's got a clean hair all, all through. It looks uh, ridiculous, but um, in a way, 
Uh, still, he's taking care of his hair. Um, why not? I don't have a problem with that kind of stuff. But that does look nasty to me. That shit looks nasty. And this is an individual, I told him, I said, you know, uh, you should be inside the psychiatric hospital already a long time ago. And he had his university and uh, already in this political sphere with his elites. And he so much resented me. And I told him, in fact, because there was some violence in it, I told him, in fact, I consider you as insane. And once this procedure will get through, I will get you into the psychiatric hospital. And, well, uh, he got uh, the first to use the psychiatric hospital against me. Wow. Truly, truly, I would say, uh, excellent. Excellent. This, I'm going to say, cretin, idiotin, if you like, created this stuff here and anticipated from me I would go out there and say like I did in the v in part number two I got pissed off because of well you're gonna see glossy stuff that I mentioned to you earlier uh, covered stuff with uh, with um, I am going to stop recording here because simply this is going to be the last thing I will be discussing. I hope, I pray it's audio recording still, that it's not fucking me up, the audio recorder. I don't want to lose, I don't want to, I don't want to be without the voice and stuff like that. It already happened, that kind of stuff. It got so, this watch got all kinds of issues they discussed during MK Ultra, and in a little bit I'm going to be with a watch. Stuff that I even state according to MK Ultra brainwash. Um, for these politicians, it was not enough that you would repeat the words that you would brainwash with during MK Ultra. Uh, you're gonna see when you're gonna be watching this stuff. This is fucking nasty here, all around. Just like the one you see here, let's say. That kind of stuff on my screen. You see, my screen is nasty. And I do that stuff deliberately so I clean the screen as rarely as possible because I'm afraid causing damage to the screen. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. Um, and this shit here was interpreted to me during MK Ultra as something that it was done it was done due to oxidation process to my watch uh, because the people uh, when I presented this watch like for instance the guy who from whom this watch is this is his watch my Egyptian guy he uh, my Egyptian guy uh, my Egyptian guy he this four months ago okay cool yeah uh, my Egyptian guy my Egyptian guy uh, I am not saying hold on a moment I'm not saying that my watch the, the watch that you see here is this watch no 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 that's not what the fuck I'm saying I'm not saying I'm just saying that the watch that he used earlier is exactly this watch don't get me wrong with it you're not going to get anything wrong about it. And I'm going to articulate that. I'm going to explain to you about that issue. Um, he got in possession this watch, this watch, this watch, excuse me, this watch. Therefore, this watch, which is this, practically the same model, the same type of watch, the same watch. Some people say the same watch. He got in possession this watch sometimes in 2000 and.
2000 and, uh, 2009, 2010 is when he got this watch in his possession. This watch. Um, he was not allowed to wear this watch. He would keep this watch inside of the doors. He would actually go out there meeting one friend of his. He's got a very good friend of one who also was involved in it. He would involve other people in it. But this is one guy, one friend of his, that he would go and meet, uh, have me meet one. And uh, I would go and uh, meeting this guy, he would wear, during meetings, he would wear this kind of watch. Uh, or at home only, he would wear this, this watch, but this kind of watch, you know? And for that kind of watch, it was this guy, the politicians that I demonstrated you, this dude here, uh, who would insist me, he would, all of a sudden, he would appear in front of the house once they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2000 and beginning the 2013 with police in, insisting me in 2012 about the issue, why I shouldn't buy this watch. Police discouraged me from buying any of these watches, that these watches are shit, that these watches are so big, uh, that I will look like a complete idiot wearing these watches. Yeah, this was all the program. This is all on the program. And I'm something I have to tell you. These watches are exactly excellent watches. I already described when I was making the video because of the type of, because the architecture of the belt itself and because of the round face that you see in the back the housing gets smaller and it perfectly feels on the watch on on your wrist just like a normal watch it does not feel like a big watch you know it doesn't even feel like a big watch it's perfect it doesn't give any kind of problems you can even i realized wear one all year long you don't have to worry about the sleeves i was worried about that kind of issue you don't have to worry about it. In fact, this is really excellent. Excellent. Um, started to insist me that few things. Number one thing is that this is what is total shit because uh, it oxidizes and any kind of scratch. And apparently the glass from this watch broke down. So for me... This watches, they told me, do not buy because uh, it's going to be, this here is going to be scratches and it's going to be the paint that's going to fall off. And they were showing me, demonstrating me some watches that were with the paint scratched and so nasty with broken glass. that They're no, no good. And they told me the other watches, however, you don't like because the other watches have a glass inside this. They have this protective uh, around them. Uh, but those are the watches that you don't like and so on. They are shit. Don't buy and this and that. They, they went completely insane. Slovenian police went completely mad with this stuff. Showing me even the watches as big as this. When it comes to psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who would step out of the car uh, in Miami and had a fucking watch like this on his hand and started to harass valet parking. Imagine the people in the United States of America had to park his fucking car. Imagine, this is for me so, it angers me so much, it is unbelievable. When I think about the trash that would lodge on Miami Beach in a hotel, uh, having a good time over there and people actually taking care of the garbage. It, it pisses me off. I can't actually explain how, how, how angry it makes me. Um, Criminal trash. I'm not going to get into it. Highly recommendable. Comfortable to wear. Uh, stuff that you're about to see in part number two. All nasty all around it. Uh, and uh, the best about it, exactly according to Robert Golob, here it appeared like it's got a crack, which was done with a regular pencil. You know, like a graffiti pencil, like a red pencil, you know, pencil. And it looked like this, basically. This is the stuff you're going to see. Made me curse the whole fucking thing in respect to purchase of these watches. It made me so miserable. It made me miserable because I like the watches. 
and all the watches were all appeared all fucked up you know it made me really really miserable here i'm gonna do it I have to be very, very careful with the stuff before, till I post this on the internet. I shouldn't play with this stuff. It looks so nasty. This, oppa, there you go. Like a crack. And this is the crack they insisted me. It's going to be a crack. And this crack here, what we'll do is going to be cracked. The only thing that's going to happen is the paint everything is going to fall apart before you know it's going to be so nasty and so on and it was a, with a pen it was charted with a pen yeah, well uh i did go ahead and i cleaned the watch i cleaned the watch and there was no crack on it and that's when i started to recall this politician who was involved in it who was driving me absolutely insane he was trying to drive me insane with this face of this watch uh, on how uh, they did this kind of stuff if you for every watch that you're going to purchase they came up with the scenarios of what they're going to do to me for every fucking watch including for this one here In, for every for every one of them the only watch according to psychiatrist cups they wouldn't touch is this one here all other watches that they would do something to it we're going to get to this stuff for everything. So, after I clean this uh, stuff thoroughly, uh, for which they also claimed me will be like this, because they will have one so many years in a storage, and it will already oxidize the face of the watch, and I will get his watch, which will be cracked. The watch appears uh, clean without any visible stuff that I would make me worry about and for which they claim that within I don't know that within uh, I don't know six months this watch would be unrecognizable three months that it would be peeling off the, the color having me jucked up uh, they would do this kind of stuff. Now, when I say drugged up, this is the video I will, a special video I will dedicate uh, to the drugs, to the MK Ultra drugs, because I learned more about the type of drugs that were used. I am only going to give you an idea what exactly it means to create a human being paranoid uh, through MK Ultra. It's not about MK Ultra, but I will tell you like this. I'm going to give you an example. There were two instances like this. One instance was me being with American military in Afghanistan. And another instance was with my being in Israel, with the Israeli military. And on both instances, they video recorded me with people expressing their total dissatisfaction with me. Um, they video recorded me walking on the streets uh, of whatever the Israel had preparing itself they were using uh, they have a whole uh, streets they would use to practice guerrilla warfare for the war that you see have taken place against the Palestine and on opportunity they video recorded me walking uh, with the Israeli soldiers who had uh, occupied already Palestine and I demanded from the Israeli soldiers to kill every Palestinian in the face uh, of the of what they presented me were Palestinian people I would go there uh, and uh, demand from Jews from the Israeli soldiers to just shoot everybody I would just go there and say just kill them kill kill all this kill 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 just kill them kill them get over with Kill them all. The same thing happened in Afghanistan. When they used some kind of drugs to 
First, what they do is they give you the drugs. Second thing they do is they brainwash you. Uh, and the third thing is they deliver you with this kind of drugs. These are the drugs that you don't even understand anymore that you it's you. These drugs, the drugs they used, are the drugs that you just take the most extremist uh, view. It, they, uh, these are drugs that they used to, uh, to put in your head stuff that is completely insane. And with this kind of MK Ultra drugs, of course, not only you no longer are yourself, but you just, you, you, you don't, you know, it's like, um, like a chessboard. You no longer see people as a human beings and you no longer see uh, this watch like, you know, from the uh, like logical point of view. Uh, but they just, whatever they brainwash you with, basically is how you see it. These are the drugs that will make your head, you can feel them. Because, man, they fucking stone you. It's like, you can feel that stuff. It's like, I'm not going to say it's like your brain is frying with it. It's not. They are just so heavy. It feels like you are in a super, super, super deep sleep. It feels like you are, like somebody's talking, like you're in a fucking deep, 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 deep sleep. And it's like, it feels like heavy. Your head does not feel good. So, on a few occasions, the Israeli, the Israelis told me, we already know you use this kind, they use this kind of drugs with you. We can do that. And they did that kind of stuff. And apparently they did this in front of international observers. Israel did. So this is a little bit different investigation. Like I said, the watches, before the watches would get into police warehouse, were pre-inspected by the Slovenian police. Once they would somewhat qualify to criteria of... Uh, Slovenian police, it would be a British royals, especially Prince Charles, and then it would be also other British royals that were willing to play with this stuff, with my case, that will examine them prior to, and I was told they will rate whatever I have to say, whichever way I'm going to examine this stuff, accordingly to whatever, whichever way I'm going to do this stuff. So, um, I don't know what was uh, Gabriela Windsor husband uh, just happened so she's all delighted and happy I don't know how that would be possible with that uh, a loss that she suffered her husband was one of them that would go on and play with exactly what I stated, inspected and help Prince Charles with this kind of stuff. One of them. And of course, there were others. And of course, I'm not going to go after everybody, but I'm just giving you an example because it's too much. I'm not going to go and fucking talk about this stuff for years. Um, this video, we might say that already is on two hours and a half, and this is just part one. Uh, Slovenian police did not stop short and have used one to drive me insane with what he would sit right there. Uh, they would disconnect all the lights and I would watch one with the light, uh, checking the watch and saying and repeating and repeating and repeating. Fuck, this watch is nasty. This watch is not new. Uh, I see some shit inside and so on. And uh, have me sit here. Uh, and with other police officers inside of the room, inside of the... Uh, what they mean by this is, what you're going to see is, there is something, a particle inside. Maybe it's even another particle somewhere. But this particle here that you see... Uh, hold on. There is a particle inside. I don't know how you can see. Uh, wait, I'm going to try to get one. No, against white, it's not going to help. Aha, aha, there you go. 
Okay, that's true too. Let's do it like, let's say like this. And I will use like something to point you out. This here, like this, I am gonna. Now I was told it's not only one, but I only also only see one. I only see this one here. This was involved in MK Ultra. They would have me watch, uh, like, like a pretty trash inside, claiming me that is nasty and is not a new watch. I like it just the way it is. At least it also helps me out to know uh, that it's my watch. Yeah, to steal me the watch, you do not even have to open it up. Not exactly, because this trash can fall out. Sure, and it possibly can also move just statically over there. But this stuff is, in, is inside of the watch. This is not outside of the watch. You see it. Uh, let me. So this is the kind of stuff that I'm going to use as a proof that this is his watch. Uh, although it's a possibility that there is also other. This is inside. This is not outside. And it's also not under the paper. I don't think it's under the paper. Uh, if it's under the paper, uh, uh, I don't think it is under the paper. It's definitely not under the paper. Definitely is, is on the inside because you were able to see. You were not able, but I was able to see a red. Uh, the way it passed, it was almost on the pointer, almost on the red pointer. It's totally, totally inside. Uh, do this watches comes with irregularities like this? They probably do. Uh, here and there they do and it's not going to make any kind of difference um, fairly in a, the way this this is this watch and this was used as a watch as an imperfect watch it looks like this it, it's more than satisfactory I would say for the watch for the it will definitely satisfy you regardless of your criteria oh there you go the red pointer right there that was exactly the stuff that you see that stuff is inside that stuff is not on a surface or under the protective plastic here that is on the top of All right where it says the date you see where it says the date at the end of the date that stuff is inside inside of the box Um, so, um, it's this kind of stuff that was further used to suggest me that this watch, and you're going to heard me saying, shit, stupidities, uh, that this kind of watch also has a problem uh, that the belt that you see, uh, the police insisted me that it will be from another watch. They will take this part off. That they will take this part off and threatened me together with the nurse young and so on that if i would be using anyways this thing here uh not this thing but this belt first they insisted that the belt is not the original that is not from here that i have to look other watches uh and and learn which belt from where it was taken and placed here then obviously because other watches do not this fit this type of description they all have this double protection here that you see they are completely different okay uh, they inserted a multitude of different scenarios to fuck me to drive me paranoid to depict to make me depict myself as paranoid have gone further to suggest me that it would be this kind of stuff they also played with changing from one watch to another that they would replace me and so on and so forth uh, uh, it did not stop even with what they suggested this all you're gonna have to do is push this out a little bit and when i asked them what is it gonna happen if i will continue to use 
belt as it is, like this, like this. This is it really looks like this. It really, it really looks like it doesn't fit. They insisted me in that case, the only thing that's gonna happen is you will destroy the belt and the belt no longer will be good. Um, well, I will continue to use this stuff just as it is. Um, there are new watches awaiting me at the police station. So in meanwhile, I'm gonna have a nice watch. I'm gonna have myself a good time. And uh, if I take another watch, seems like they all have this kind of problem. And maybe that's not even a problem. Maybe that's just a courtesy of Smile Company. Uh, courtesy of quality, basically, that applies to this Chinese company, Smile. Um, Smile watches Smile. Uh, you should understand, for those of you that were not excited about this kind of watches, uh, simply are watches of quality. Uh, if you consider Seiko, Citizen, Casio quality, uh, I think you should consider this too because the matter of the fact is that it's a Japanese inspectors that are inside of the Chinese factory where they assemble these watches, where they assemble them together and they make sure that nothing but the best comes out of it. So saying that these are not good watches and stuff like this is a stupid shit. It's a stupid thing to do. I was brainwashed tremendously on this stuff. Uh, I was willing to pay for this stuff, 19 bucks for three of these watches, and got lucky enough to get them for less. Uh, there is, what some people would say something like a downfall that applies to these watches, but it's really not because I demonstrated you this watch, for instance, has even better way to make comfortable one on your hand because it has these things here. You see these plastic things and this thing a little. It so fits on your wrist. My wrist is 18 centimeters that it, it, it makes you just as comfortable to fit as anything else would be. The size of the nurse Yanko. Is such of his wrist that it would only fit him and not even this would be. This was the biggest problem for him. That's why he claimed he would not wear the watch to the last pin. So this is what I said, the size of the nurse Yanko, I'm going to use as a proof that he was involved, actually as a physical proof that he was involved in this crime. It would only fit into this here and even this would be a problem according to his bullshit, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to tell you what the size of his wrist was because he wanted to have a watch like this, but he couldn't have the watch to him according to him because uh, he had a too big of the wrist to wear the watch like this. Not necessary I made for the big hands. Uh, 18 centimeters is not such a big uh, and big wrist. And so, voila, I'm going to also tell you, I'm going to also tell you about that kind of stuff. Is there like anything else? No. Um, what other shit you're going to hear me talking about in part number two? You're going to hear me talking about stuff like uh, that everything is scratched all over the place. Uh, that's because I'm going to repeat to you those stickers that I demonstrated you. Those are the stickers that they made them in a such a way so that it would all look scratched up, uh, you know, and somehow, somehow, I don't, I don't even know why, but some way, somehow, oh, shit, the first watch that I opened up, I think, uh, you're going to see when I opened the package, was the watch, that, which was in the worst shape possible, that's basically this watch here, so I was pissed off because this is a five atmosphere, five bar watch, 
and was going to use one for swimming and such and realized it's not going to be suitable because I don't know how many times also this was open because I don't know whether this was properly closed or not uh, because because of too many issues is why basically check this out this watch is not even fucking close look at that and I already had an example exactly like this look 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 at the screwdriver this screwdriver I don't think it's all the way inside aha uh -huh, like this from the side from the side like this and you know that's why I am not going to be using this kind of stuff I am not going to be using this kind of stuff yet I am not going to be using this kind of stuff yet till I actually finish this case and uh, once I finish this case I'm not sure or is it once I finish the case that's when I'm going to be playing with other stuff I'm going to buy the first thing seals gaskets uh, I like also new when it comes to the seals and gaskets and stuff like that uh, I like it new and frankly with idiots like this doing the stuff like that uh, who can guarantee me that the stuff is new nobody really is there like anything else I would say in respect to this watch? I would say yes, I would say thank you very much to Egyptian guy, British Egyptian guy. I love it. Uh, this friend I am talking about. Oh, look how beautifully you can see the scratch right there. Scratch we were talking about earlier. Uh, this this friend, I think I think it's a black guy. I'm not sure. I think it's a black guy that he's his good friend. I think this long-time friend is a black guy, he's got a family. So, is this scratch nicely? I'm gonna say thank you very much. Um, definitely police cannot say that these are new watches. Absolutely cannot say that these are new watches, because they are not. Provenly, proven they are not new watches. Um, here, this watch here, this was a top watch, uh, and this was also one of the preferred watches. Slovenian police fucked me up the, the thing here that you see, according to MK Ultra, it's this protective plastic film. In other words, it's a film. Uh, they were playing with it and have uh, adjusted one so that it would not be on a center like it's done in a factory because in a factory they do it in a such a way so that you can always use this as a protection so you don't scratch the face from the watch they put this protective film on it so the slovenian police went ahead and during mk ultra unfortunately i mean when i was doing the review of this stuff i went ahead and i pushed the stuff uh and i pushed the stuff inside uh, and in fact Slovenian police insisted me you must not push one on the inside but outside but you most likely will push one on the inside yes I did because the Slovenian police pushed one out so that is the correct answer I just didn't know that it's supposed to be pushed out because this glass of course I think it's also curved so this would be located at number 10 right here that you see at number 10 so this is this is actually vandalization uh, ladies and gentlemen they are for 650 right now this watch is but the thing about it is they go for 30 dollars and more 30 40 even 50 bucks uh, is cheap but that doesn't mean it's shit it's for me personally it's a top of the line 
for the cost, for the money that I pay for the value, price to value, it's like top of the line. So they here, I am going to try to do that for you. Um, what else? What else is wrong with it? You're going to see on me bitching about it. On uh, You're going to hear me bitching about it at the... At the part number two, for which I already told you, do not pay attention to these stickers here. This is the stuff do not pay attention to. Whatever I say, it's about scratched and so on and so forth. Do not pay attention to This is what they told me. Slovenian police insisted me this is going to be the watch that is going to be in the worst condition because you like one. Uh, the watch is okay. Once I removed the sticker, it appeared that the watch was not uh, scratched. The watch was okay, with exception to this plastic here, like I said, that will be a problem. And uh, eventually I'm going to have to make another plastic uh, cover protection. Uh, don't really know how I would uh, here this is gonna do it uh, just pay attention to number 10 this was a big bubble right there a big problem it was and it will be for as long as it will be and then when it's not gonna be it's, I'm just gonna put something else at number 10 you're gonna see this plastic film uh, I was inside of this company, inside of this factory in China also, not only in Japan where they, where they do these uh, mechanisms. Yeah, you can see it's not even. It's not even. You see it? At number 10? It's slightly you can see. Uh, this is going to be a problem actually. It's going to have to be replaced. The film, the protective film is going to have to be replaced. So, for the rest of the stuff, watch part number two. And remember, anything I stated here for the rear, for the back, with respect to scratches, uh, simply please disregard. This watch, in my opinion, is more new than not. I would say that this watch, in my opinion, is more new than not. Whether this is exactly the new watch, there will be new, new, new. Um, I do not know how new this watch is due to issues which I have stated you earlier. Open watch, uh, play with the watch, uh, open watch, and so on and so forth. Uh, none of these watches is new. Battery, replacing battery, all that stuff. None of the watches is new. This is supposed to be the watch in the best shape of them all. This is so what Slovenian police claimed me is would be because I liked one. Uh, as the only watch that I like one, they would allow me to have one watch intact and new. Um, I Watch part number two. Uh, I don't have anything else I would say in respect to any of these issues. Uh, I will not take this uh, apart. Um, I will use, however, also this issue to make my case. This was also the issue that was involved in MK Ultra. And this is also uh, all the screws. And that's why I also know that this is watch is not a new watch. Uh, all the screws from this watches, as you see, are like a cross. Cross. They were showing me God knows how many watches that they demonstrated me are like a cross. Except that this one here, because you like, they told me, it's going to be X. Do not use this watch. 
So I know that this watch that I demonstrated you is absolutely not a new watch. Uh, any kind of watch uh, or item for that matter, if it was involved in MK Ultra, is absolutely not a new item. Uh, next, uh, let's see what else here. Uh, if there's anything notable here that, that I would note. Um, nothing so much really with the bare eye that I would uh, pay I don't know what attention to really. I have to be careful with this stuff so that I don't, I don't drop something. Uh, Robert Gulob claimed that he would do that kind of stuff to help me out, you know, to help me out. The thing is, uh, he did help me out in 2012 when he threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. He shortened my life for about maybe 30 years. And so I know that he definitely helped me out and he made the toilet, the shit out of my life. So I'm going to say thank you, Mr. Robert Gulob. Till we meet at the court. That's where I'm going to really thank you. Um, Uh, uh, I repeat to you, they demanded from me to open the swatches, take them apart, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I would not do absolutely, not bother to change the battery, absolutely anything. I would absolutely not do any of it. They show you the date, they show you the date, they are very good uh, functionality-wise, uh, time-wise keeping. Um, um, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, he, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, he would give me two watches that are new, that are really new. That's basically this one and this one. But the thing is that they inserted so many different scenarios that which whatever you would state, whatever the fuck I state, for everything I say, there are, there are still 10 different other scenarios involved in it. I am outlining the most important MK Ultra brainwash for you to understand the nature of this type of crime. For the rest of the stuff, you're going to see in part number two, please. I will be talking to you about issues uh, that are non-relevant that apply to this stuff in the back cover. Do not uh, do not take that from me. I do not. I take that back. Whatever I stated, I do not agree with any of that stuff. Let me see this here. I did not even check this kind of stuff. Uh, this one, uh, contrary, is like this, and is going very, very smoothly, which is kind of suspicious to me. So, the only thing I want to say is none of these watches are new. Uh, they are going to be welcome in my possession until I get also, now that's a proper way to say, my watches. Uh, the thing is that anything I do, I take, I'm not going to say pride in it, but I will not go and allow somebody to fuck with my things because it's a time I spend, it's a time I waste, 
and will not allow absolutely anybody to fuck with any of this stuff. Watch the part number two about all this stuff. The belt here is, this is the only belt that is so smooth. So this is, maybe, I have no, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's chest this belt also. It's also not smooth. It's also like this. Uh, this is also quite smooth. This belt is also smooth. Quite smooth, but not as smooth. Uh, so, yes, it could be that these two watches, uh, as a matter of fact, the watch, the watch that I'm using, they might have... This, this is also smooth, this. Okay, so... This is exactly the same issue. Uh, and so it could really be that police did something with this stuff here. It could really be that they did something with this stuff here. And if it's not, it's because it would be something they would use to remind me during MK Ultra about, uh, was actually to remind me about what went on during MK Ultra. So um, I, you're going to also hear me in part two talking about these white things here the white things the white things uh it's normal it's a normal thing it's it's a paint that would um in what i said that was demonstrated was also visible on watches from other police officers investigators they would have a white paint you know around it uh under you see this stuff here also here in the belt and so on this is also the stuff i was was involved in mk ultra and in the green watch there was this kind of stuff here that was involved in mk ultra so this is also why i know that this is not a new watch because of this stuff here because of this green stuff here you see it right there this is the same watch that was involved in mk ultra none of the watches are new watches uh, I believe they used them, uh, and uh, if they did not use them, then they had to sit inside of the warehouse for a very, very long time. Minimum for each watch, they had to sit inside of the warehouse for 10 years at least. 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, um, for the rest of the stuff, I will now refer you to the part uh, number two, when you're going to hear me lambasting everything, uh, please do not pay attention to the stuff that you're going to see me saying since I have not even bothered to remove the, the stickers. Um, Ah, this has got visible stuff also here in the back. Yeah, this is not uh, the way it's supposed to be. There is some, you see that stuff, those marks? Mm, that's uh, scratching stuff. That watch is definitely not new. Um, so... I still think it was a rubber alcohol that was used that the police investigator was scratching the stuff with the rubber alcohol to make it look as new as possible, uh, I should say as glossy as possible, as uh, dusty, as uh, not as dusty, but as foggy, you know, fog, like foggy that you don't see clearly, that's what you would do with that stuff, with that alcohol. I just remember that animal using that kind of stuff and driving me insane.
with these kind of issues. He also would drive other people in Slovenia in saying there was another individual somewhere they had. These people killed quite a few people. This um, will do the investigation for me. It could be much, much worse. I would have to remove these pins here and check uh, this issue here i will not i also as soon as anything will happen with the watch i will log a date and time and whatever happened to the incident will place if i have to one on the site uh, simply for the time that would come uh, when it would be additional investigation that would take place and yes i will not go swimming with any of this watches because 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 you know when you go swimming always make sure it's water resistant everything first thing you do with the watch when you get the watch order yourself gaskets order yourself seals nice set of screwdrivers open it up make sure it's properly sealed if not replace the seal gasket close the enclosure close the cover back uh, test the watch in the water and then go swimming with it okay so that's all i gotta say to you and whatever the hell you are because slovenia did this stuff it's like a mental disease they spread throughout the world so that people are doing police is doing now this to the people in brazil in the united states of america everywhere um, make sure you have the camera in your hands when you open the items it's not aliexpress that's doing stuff like this it's the mainstream media that does it this negative image about the asian carp this negative image about the invasive asian species um, uh, anywhere from Asian carp to Asian, I don't know. It's bullshit. Stop with that stuff. That's all I say. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for me, it's going to be the end of the uh, part. Um, part number one again we're going to take a date and time I'm going to go one more time I'm going to have you see date and time the best watcher of them all and it's all thanks to Egyptian guy Egyptian guy told me that he barely made it he barely barely made it he had a problem qualifying this watch uh, with the Slovenian police and yet he did he did it do you see what I see right there you see do you see that you see that stuff that shit is very very realistically done it was done in a, such a realistic way close to MK Ultra wash brainwash that I was certain it was cracked surface from the watch and it was not I clean it up and I would say why well, it looks as good as new you see it you're gonna see that in the part number two And that will be basically reviewing of this uh, watches. This is the stuff that made me so upset about it, because I was I really started to see things they brainwashed me with during MK Ultra, just the way they wanted me say stuff the, the way they wanted me to say. Um,
date and time when this stuff was video recorded and yes this is the fourth time i'm practically doing this stuff uh what i'm gonna do is this is the end of the part one part number two that's what i'm really really negative about it uh the worst come out of me i get pissed off and everything you're gonna hear me bitching and all kinds of stuff uh, that's basically opening of uh, the package itself and in the part number three you're just going to hear me repeating watch part number one do not take completely seriously part number two watch part number one to understand what went on in part number two uh, thanks for watching this video uh, i should say part number one coming next is part number two